So the first question that I'm going to do is from chapter one, question 19. And what this um, question is really trying to assess is whether or not you know your order of mathematical operations, um, sometimes referred to as bed mass, how I learned it in Canada. Um, a lot of my students here in Texas have learned it, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. So you're going to do your parentheses or your brackets first, your exponents. Um, division and multiplication happen as they come. Then between a division, multiplication, and addition and subtraction, one piece that doesn't fit into the acronym is that we do the summation um, using the summation notation. And then you do the addition and subtraction. So the data for question 19, we've got um, x scores, and they are 3, 2, 5, 1, and 3. So we've got 5 scores. And in question 19a, what we want to do is the sum of x squared. So exponents happen before the summation notation. So we take 3 and square it plus 2 squared plus 5 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared. And yes, I do recommend showing as much of your work or all of your work um, even if the sub submission of your work is digital, having it all written out in a step-by-step -step linear fashion is going to help you when you come back to study. Because if you just have the sum of x and you have the answer, you have no way, you, you may know, well, yeah, I got the right answer, but how did you get it? So if you're going to use your homework to help you learn and to help you study, Showing your work is definitely a good idea. So 3 squared, 9, plus 2 squared is 4, plus 5 squared is 25, plus 1 squared is 1, plus 3 squared is 9. And so if you add those up, the answer is 48. 